Okay, today we are going to talk all things rainbows, uh, pros and cons of the both traditional rainbow cakes and the neon. I'm also going to show you some really, really quick, easy designs that I do with rainbows. Pretty much every event I paint at, um, there are a few kind of go-to designs I do. Now the traditional split cake or one stroke, this one is by far my favorite. I have purchased this so many times over and over again, I cannot count. So you're gonna spray it pretty liberally and run your one inch flat back and forth and you wanna get the paint all the way up to the metal part of the brush that I always forget what it's called. And I'll look it up later and think it's ridiculous. I've been painting for so many years, I don't know why I can't remember. So make sure you really get the paint worked in. Um, if it's pulling, you don't have enough water. If it's pull, if it's actually dripping, too much. But don't be afraid to really, really liberally get this on your brush so that you have a lot of paint. And I will show you one of the most popular quick designs I do. I start at the middle of the forehead with the brush and I just pull it right across down to the cheek. And I usually try to stop on a little bit of a peak. I'm gonna show you this on my arm too so you can see the intensity of this rainbow. It is very bright and lovely and makes a beautiful effect. So this is a must have as far as I'm concerned. As far as a super quick rainbow design, do a quick swirl of the rainbow, grab a filbert brush, do a heart, in the center of the forehead. Feel free to spritz it with glitter at this point. You can quickly do a little girl's lips in the red as well. And you could call it done right there. And you have got a, I mean, 30 second full face design on a little kid. If you have a few more seconds or you want to make sure that they are perfectly satisfied or if you want to zhuzh it up a little bit I would just add a few starbursts some dots and you have the fastest design I do so many of these at events and it makes painting with the rainbow split incredibly easy um, now as far as the neon one, this particular one, unlike the larger rainbow cake, the one stroke in neon, I can't ever get very bright. Um, now I spray it pretty liberally. I'm gonna take another one inch brush and really work it in. Couple things, one, I feel like this one gets a little muddier and run together easier. But it's also, get a little bit more on there so that I can get a, the, as, as intense of a color as I can. One of the things that I don't like as well about this cake is that I can't get quite intense color out of it. See how it's almost pastel? It's still pretty, but it's just a little bit lighter. And if you don't really, really work it in, you don't get the best coverage out of it. I still use it, but not as much as I use the traditional rainbow because I know that one's gonna come out bright and perfect every time. Um, I'll show you this one. The transparency is kind of a bad place to show you this because it just completely disappears, which I find sometimes it disappears on skin as well. So I would be careful with that one. Just practice with it so you get better coverage out of it. Now I will say for the full cake of this, I don't have that problem. I use this one a lot. And I'll show you on my arm. This one has incredibly intense color. So you can see even compared to the one stroke, this is more intense. So I use this one a ton when I'm using stencils or if I want like a really quick, um, really hot, cool butterfly, I'll use the neon rainbow cake. 
Now another thing I'll do, um, if I wanna switch it up a little bit, because I don't like painting the same thing over and over again, so sometimes I'll do just the heart at the top, other times I'll take a sponge or even a filbert brush and I'll do a little fluffy cloud at the bottom of my rainbow so that I have kind of different fun elements or you can even do a fluffy cloud on the other side of the cheek to add some interest. While you have the red on your brush that you did the heart and the lips, you can go to the other side of the face and do a couple teardrops. And that way you're also doing a full face for a child in less than a minute. It's incredibly fast and really, really effective fun design that parents are willing to pay a, a good little chunk of money for. So those are the first kind of go-to rainbows that I do, and I will show you a few more. Okay, so a few other quick rainbow designs I do is I will take the full rainbow cake and a sponge get it nice and loaded up. And this is a great, really fast, really um, impactful one. And I'll actually take the sponge and I will do the entire side of a kid's face with the rainbow. And this is, of course, your kid's eye will be closed, so it won't be as creepy. And then over that, and excuse the transparency too, doesn't, doesn't allow for good coverage, but you guys can use your imagination. On skin, this looks a lot different, um, but you'll get the general idea. So pull that rainbow over the forehead and down the cheek, and then over that you have a few different options, because I don't like painting the same thing over and over again, so I get bored easily. So sometimes I will then take a stencil and lay the stencil down, let's say for, let's take some white, and then right over that, just do some simple stars. And that is a, you can do it all the way up, fun, easy, quick, spray it with some glitter and you're done. That child will be incredibly happy. Um, another thing that you can do is a tribal design over it. This is really good for teenagers, adults, or kids that don't really know what they want and they tell you just to do anything, which can sometimes be like, oh great, nobody asked me to do anything, what should I do? So do a rainbow and then, you know, however you like to do your tribal design, just go ahead and go over it and you can really do just about anything. I'm using a filbert to do this which isn't exactly the best brush. I'm going to switch. but. You guys get the idea. This is one of the reasons I I like rainbow cakes so much is because they are really, really versatile. And if you just think about all the different ways you can use them. Okay, so that's a little better with a with a round. So then go ahead and do some swirls and curls and depending on you know if it's a, a boy you're doing this on or a girl you can make it look more tribal or more feminine and you could certainly layer it up with the stars and the tribal but the nice thing about the rainbow cakes is when it lays down all of that color you don't have to do too much detail over it to get a really really effective design. So a few dots and some lines and you've got a pretty cool quick design. 
So one of the other things that I like to do with my traditional rainbow is get my brush nice and loaded up. and go over the eye. So I wouldn't do this on tiny kids, but on teenagers, you know, if you do a half face rainbow and stars, and then you take your one inch and you go over their eye and create some really cool rainbow eyeshadow, it looks cool. And they think that it is the most amazing thing in the world. So that's always a very, very easy, fun thing to do. Um, another thing that I really like to do, especially with little kids or if somebody gets scared, see if I can move my Fitbit and show you. I mean, you can imagine, um, but it's better to show you. So a lot of times when there's little, little kids and they don't want me to paint them and their parents are really, really trying, I will do this on myself first, take the rainbow and I'll go look. I can make myself a bracelet. Do you guys want a bracelet? Usually they will stick their arm out and go, of course I want a bracelet. So that is a super fun thing. And I'll also do that because it takes five seconds and it feels like you're doing something extra and fun for them. So not only will I do that on scared kids <laughs> that don't wanna get painted, but also if I've done something on um, rainbow-like on a little girl or boy's face, then I'll just give them a quick bracelet. Everybody feels like they've gotten something extra Extra. usually the parents will give me a tip for doing it too because they feel like I spent some extra time with their kids so um, little jewelry I think we always kind of forget but that's a really really fun thing to do okay so my last um, design I'm going to show you guys is also probably my second most popular rainbow design I do and I don't have a board with a lot of pictures, but I do have a picture of a little girl with this on my board, so I get asked to do it a lot, which is probably why, but it's also really pretty. So I, again, load up my brush. I do a simple curve on the side of the face for the rainbow. Try to end it with a little bit of a, a curve. And then I do a double dipped flower, which you probably know how to do, but if you don't, you take one color on your brush, I'm taking this lighter blue, and then you dip the tip of a brush into another complementary color. A lot of times I will do white with pink because little girls like that a lot, and usually it's little girls that want the flowers. But on this, so you guys can see it, I'm gonna do this light blue and dark blue tip so that hopefully it'll show up in my transparency, which half the time nothing shows up in my transparency. So. so I'll do the rainbow, and then instead of the heart in the middle, I will start by doing a little double-dipped flower, and then I will take the petals and I will cascade them down the side of the face which you can, you can kind of see that. It's not as nice as it looks. I'll try to go over them a little bit on skin. These petal brushes are great if you use these, but that's not, sometimes on transparencies, they just, they just don't turn out the way you want them to be. But you get it, I'm sure. This is really, really quick. Rainbow, double dipped flowers, and then you can go in with a complementary color of your choice and put some dots in for the center of the flowers. You can also do a few twirls over on that side as well. Um, usually with these, since it goes so fast, and this is kind of the rub, you know, I, I love to go fast and that is one of my goals when I'm doing festivals, but I also don't wanna to go too fast that the parent thinks I didn't spend time on their kids. So I'll make sure that it looks like I didn't leave any detail out. So if I do the rainbow and the double dip flowers and it takes me 30 seconds, I will always make sure to go in and do a couple starbursts and some extra dots 
because again, you know, if you're at a festival and it's a pay per face and you're trying to get as many kids through the line as possible, you want it to go really, really quickly. But if the kid's only in your chair for 20 seconds, the parents are kind of be like, gonna be like, well, what, what did I just pay three or five dollars for when it took her, you know, 30 seconds? So it's kind of a um, double-edged sword. So make sure to add detail. You know, this is definitely glitter. I, you know, kind of never too much glitter. And lipstick. I have little disposable, um, really, really inexpensive brushes, little lip, like lipstick brushes that I got off of Amazon that I will do lipstick on little girls as well. Um, and that just makes everybody feel like it is complete and done and finished and um, nothing left out. So there you go. That's my other go-to rainbow design. I hope you guys... So here's a photo of me painting the rainbow on a young girl at an event and a few other pictures um, from that day. So you can see the rainbow on little kids. I hope you liked this video. Please subscribe and keep watching. Thanks.